हेलो स्टूडेंट्स द क्वेश्चन इज ए सम ऑफ रुपीज ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड टू फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड रुपीज इन टू ईयर्स फाइन द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट अगेन वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन हियर द विच इंटरेस्ट इज अप्लाइड इट इज नॉट गिवन कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट टू यू नीड टू टेक द सिंपल इंटरेस्ट नाउ हियर अ सम ऑफ ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड so you need to understand the sum that means it is principal and this princip uh, this amount is 15000 rupees because interest is added into the principal and hence you will get this amount so what is the difference between uh, what is the relation between principal and amount so if you add interest into the principal you will get the amount so here amount is 15000 and interest we need to calculate so interest is always calculated amount minus principal so amount is 15000 and principal is 12500 so what is your interest received in 2 years the interest received is 2500 now i know this simple interest formula simple interest is calculated as prt by 100 where p is principal r is a rate of interest per cent per annum or per year t is time in years divided by 100 now principal is 12500 into rate of interest we need to calculate time is 2 years divided by 100 where interest is 2500 so if you simply solve 0 0 gets cancel it becomes 250 r is equal to 2500 so your answer must be r is equal to 2500 divided by 250 which is equal to r is 10% so my answer is rate of interest must be 10% per year so 0 0 gets cancel 10% per year it is your value now the same question can I, i can solve by using without pen and pencil now 15000 is your amount principal is 12500 so in 2 years i am getting 2500 as a interest so in 2 years if i am getting 2500 as interest in 1 year i am going to get divided by 2 that is in 1 year i am going to get 1250 rupees as a interest in 1 year so why i have done this because simple interest is a interest where every year's interest is going to be remain same that is why i have divided by 2 now please tell me what percent of 12500 is 1250 the question is very simple just hide this zero 10% so your answer has to be 10% the question is what will be the compound interest on some 5000 invested for 3 years at 10% per annum so here the principal that is sum is given 5000 rupees so principal is given 5000 rupees rate of interest is given 10% per annum that is 10% per year and time is given 3 years we need to find compound interest so we know this formula amount is equal to principal in bracket 1 plus r by 100 raised to t it is for compound interest now amount we first we need to calculate amount so amount principal is 5000 into 1 plus r is 10% divided by 100 raised to time is 3 years so 5000 into 100 plus 10 is 110 raised to 3 So three times can I write this as three raised to three? So if you solve further five thousand into so this is five thousand into hundred and ten by hundred into hundred and ten by hundred into hundred and ten by hundred. So if you solve this zero zero gets cancelled. This zero gets cancelled. This zero and this zero is gets cancelled. Two zeros. So here five into I know that 11 cube is 1331. So simply multiplied by 5, you will get 6655 as amount. So most of the students calculate this, but what is this? It is amount. But we need to find compound interest. So how you are going to find compound interest? 
compound interest is calculated as amount minus principal so what is your amount amount is 6655 minus principal is 5000 rupees so your compound interest has to be 1655 rupees the question is a started a business with 21000 rupees and is joined afterward by b with rupees 36000 after how many months did b join in the business so that profits at the end of year are divided equally now here we need to understand one important point profit is equal to or profit is directly proportional to the investment and time ratio so here we need to understand these two points here profit is always directly proportional to the ratio of product of investment and their time of investment so this is the concept we need to use if you take proportionality constant as one so here profit is based on two factors that is i into t so here i need to understand what is the investment and what is the time of investment so a and b are the two persons and investment by a person that is investment so investment by a is 21000 and investment by b is 36000 so here if you take the ratios of investment this 0 0 0 0 0 0 gets cancelled it is divisible by 3 it is divisible by 3 so here the ratio of investment ratio is nothing but 7 ratio 12 so if you take the investment ratio the ratio is 7 ratio 12 now next year very important is time of investment t okay so a has started the business with initial capital 21000 so time of utilization is one year that means i need to convert this into months because here the question is related with after what months the b should join the business now please tell me if you calculate the it ratio that is investment and time the compound ratio of investment and time here it becomes 7 into 12 now here in this case also investment ratio is equal that is 7 into 12 but here we don't know the time so can i equate this 12 into time of investment is x which is equal to 7 into 12 so if you observe this 12 12 gets cancelled x is 7 so that means in order to get the equal profits their it must be same that is why i have treated this equal and what i found this time of investment for this person is seven months but the question is different you need to understand after what how much of month after what and after how many months the b should join so time of investment is seven months so we need to calculate after what months B should join and the answer is 12 minus 7 which is equal to 5 months. So if B joins after 5 months the period of investment becomes 7 months and the ratio becomes 7 into 12, 7 into 12 that means the ratios are equal that means the profit is going to be shared equally. The question is the profit earned by selling an article for 900 rupees is double the loss incurred when the same article is sold at 450 rupees at what price should the article be sold to make 25 percent profit now here we need to understand what is profit and what is loss so i'm giving direct to the basic relations whenever the selling price is greater than cost price and if you find the difference in this case we have a profit and in some case cost price is greater than selling price and when you find the difference cost price minus selling price you will get the loss so in this case selling price is greater than cost price there is a profit and cost price is greater than selling price there is a loss 
so what is given when some same article is sold at that is selling price is given 900 there is some profit so i'm going to write this profit is 900 minus cp similarly same article is sold at 450 there is some loss so sp2 is 450 we don't know the cost price now why i have written cp and cp because the article is same that means cost price is going to be same now next statement is given the profit is double so profit is two times loss so if you put this value 900 minus cost price is equal to 2 in bracket loss is cost price minus 450 so here 2 times cp minus 450 2 times becomes 900 900 here minus cp so take cp on this side it becomes plus so 2 cp plus 1 cp is 300 cp 900 plus 900 becomes 1800 so your cost price nothing but 1800 divided by 3 which is nothing but 600 so what is the cost price of article is 600 so this article the having cost price is 600 and that is why if you sold at 900 there is a profit of 300 if you sold at 1 450 there is a loss of 150 and profit is two times the loss so i have find out the cost price but the question is of finding out selling price but i want to achieve a a percentage profit of 25 now look at this 100 base method whenever the cost price is 100 actual cost price is 600 but right now i want to achieve 25 percent profit so if you add 25 percent of 20 100 it becomes 25 plus 100 becomes 25 so we need to find the value of this so directly you can calculate x as 600 into 125 by 100 look at this here this 125 is because of 25 percent profit if you want to have suppose there in case 25 percent loss so you need to 100 minus 25 that is you need to write here 75 by 100 so if you solve this 0 0 gets cancel 125 600 so 100 for 6 times is 600 plus 25 6 times is 150 so if you add this it becomes 750 rupees so when you so sell this article at 750 rupees you will have a profit of 150 rupees that means a profit of 25 percent so the question is a total profit of rupees 44,100 is to be distributed among Rajesh, Salesh and Rajiv such that Rajesh to the Salesh ratio is 3 ratio 4 and Salesh to the Rajiv is ratio 8 ratio 7 what is the share of Rajiv now the profit has to be shared by three people Rajesh Salesh and third one is Rajiv but while giving the ratio ratio of Rajesh to the Salesh is given 3 ratio 4 and ratio of Salesh to the Rajiv is given 8 ratio 7. Now this is the question where we need to find the ratio of Rajesh to the Salesh to the Rajiv. First we need to find the ratio. So there are two methods I am going to give two methods. Uh, now you need to choose one which is convenient for you. So if I want to find this x what I will get because here two values are there I need to find this value so if you do cross multiplication 8x is equal to 7 into 4 so x is nothing but x is nothing but 7 into 4 by 8 so here it is 2 times so x has to be 7 by 2 so if you put here 7 by 2 the ratio becomes 3 ratio 4 and 7 by 2 but in order to remove this 2, we need to multiply by 2 every term. So 3 into 2, 2 into 4 and 2 into 7 by 2. So you will get this ratio 6, 8 and 7. So the profit sharing ratio must be 6 to the 8 to the 7. Rajesh, Salesh, Rajiv, the profit sharing ratio must be 6 ratio 8 ratio 7. I hope you have understood this method. 
another way of doing this kind of calculations I am going to give the first to the second is given Rajesh to the Salesh is given and Salesh to the Rajiv is given 3 is to 4 and Salesh to Rajiv is given 8 is to 7 so look at this Rajesh to the Salesh is given and Salesh to the Rajiv is given so in order to calculate this type the, we need to use simple straight line between these two so 3 into 8 is nothing but 24 ratio now cross so 8 into 4 becomes 32 and again vertical line downwards so 4 into 2 is 28 so their ratio must be 24 32 and 28 but if you divide by 4 you will get this as 6 you will get this as 8 and you will get this as 7 because divided by 4 now check the ratio is 6 to the 8 to the 7 so in order to find the joint ratio of three elements you can use this method or this methods both are convenient so what is the ratio of their profit sharing ratio profit sharing ratio of Rajesh to the Salesh to the Rajiv is 6 ratio 8 ratio 7 now we need to find the share of Rajiv so what is the share of Rajiv 7 out of what is the total ratio 6 plus 8 is 14 14 plus 8 is 21 so 6 plus 8 plus 7 that is here you can write this as 7 upon 21 now this is the ratio into what is the total amount we need to distribute we need to distribute 44,100 because this is the very simple method in order to find the ratio uh, profit of Rajiv okay so this is the profit of Rajiv now why this come so if you take the proportionality constant x it becomes Rajiv share 6x Saleh share 8x and here its share becomes 7x if you add this total share it is nothing but 21x which is equal to 44,100 so if you find the value of x you need to divide it by 21 that is why we need to divide it by 21 and we need to find the value of 7x so multiplied by 7 so look at this it is simple method so here divided by 21 here 2 times 21 2 remaining 100 so if you multiplied by 7 your answer must be 14700 now look at this if you want to find the salish share just write here 8 divided by 21 as it is into 44100 so here rajiv share is nothing but 14700 rupees i hope you have understood this question thank you